fishing back at you today we're going to do something interesting we're going to build brush piles in fact i'm going to do it over three days and i'm going to consolidate it into one video for you all right youtube i just want to make sure you know that i am serious about this check this out and these are my center blocks good buddy of mine gave me those for free um, so find some used one around ask some people see if they've got them laying in their backyard uh, take advantage of that so you know that's that's about 20 blocks for free here's my bamboo on the property i'm gonna cut down so these are my uh brush piles this one's a little bit longer wider it's already completed with the uh, quick creed in the cinder block everything's tied down there this is going to be for shorter shallower water probably more of a springtime one where i'm building it actually a lot shorter there is the occasional long stock but i will actually chop those in half and put those split those up so i see that i have two long ones there so i'm going to split those up um yeah so i actually put the quick creed, i put the cinder blocks on a board and uh, fill it up with quick creek add a little bit of water i have my pail of water right there and i come back the next day and they're all done and they lift off that uh wood plank really nice and easy so and then again i don't forget about the bottom so i always have small ones in there straight up i actually will drill holes in these as well for flotating flotation devices if i want like a noodle an old noodle i might have um steak beds um, this is one that's already been made right here concrete's already in the center block bamboo so a lot of times what i'll do is i'll just put these long bamboos and then i'll shorten them up and put them in the center block so this guy right here is a very long piece um, now some of them don't mind you i do have some out there that are that long um, but this one in particular i'm looking at making a lot shorter No, it's not pretty, but it does the trick. I just think it's a lot easier than just mixing it up outside of it. So I just add a little bit of water. I don't really worry about runoff. I do this in, the, in some rocks, so it doesn't matter. Now I wanna make sure I am gonna be putting this in the correct depth. And so I know that my water is about two feet down so anything i see on the monitor i know is really going to be about two feet higher come the spring come majority of the summer and so i have to know what season that i'm targeting it's important so we're two feet down most of my brush that i'm going to put out right now is roughly six feet tall so what I do is I look for, what I'm looking for is 12 feet of water. I know that water is gonna eventually be up to about 14. I'm gonna put something in the water that is roughly six feet tall. That gives me eight foot, keeping those crappie on the top part of that brush at nine feet, which I think is the sweet spot. So right now we're searching for 12 foot of water um, in a place that perhaps many people don't go to or you can supplement another spot that you think needs some additional brush and that you could actually do some better fishing there so let's find it so what I like to do is I like to use my auto chart live function on my hummingbird and I like to get a really good idea of the area that I'm in What I've done is I've located an area right now that is 12 feet, kind of near where I want to go. So I'm going to start dropping buoys around to keep me at that depth. 
so that I'll be targeting this area when I come back with the brush. standing up. Then you get up to a six foot flat. And just because I want to make sure that I have perfect marks on them. Yeah. 